Good morning, hot dogs. FAFSA, trunk or treat, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. FAFSA night is coming up soon. If you are considering attending, you must make an appointment before October 3rd. If you need to make an appointment, call or email Esmeralda Cruz. FAFSA night will take place on Thursday, October 6th. Today is the last day of College Go Week, so it's the last day to apply for free to the 40 colleges that have waived their application fee. If you have any questions, email your counselor. The National Honor Society is hosting their annual trunk or treat, so here's two of the members to tell us more about it. Hello, the National Honor Society will be hosting a trunk or treat at the end of October. We did the same event last year and had a great turnout, but this year we want more participation from you guys. We have decided the community class and sports team with the most participation will be winning donuts or another prize. We are also going to be doing a competition for the best decorated cars and other smaller awards. This, uh, this event will be on October 29th at 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. It will be held in the tennis lot. We are just asking you to pass out candy to the younger kids and be on your best behavior. Also, please do not forget all costumes and cars have to be school appropriate. We are hoping to see all you guys there. Happy Halloween. Sounds like a fun event. If you're involved in a club, community, or sport that would like to help out, then it's time to start planning. Now, we'll send it over to Sports and Weather. What's up, dogs? The boys' soccer team played their last regular season game, and they ended off with a win, with a score of 4-0. to zero. It was a close game early on, but the defense and keeper, Jose Campos, kept the net empty. Opening up scoring early for the first half was Manuel Bergeneros, who was assisted by Alex Castro. After the half, Alex Castro got a goal of his own, giving the Hot Dogs a two-goal lead. Castro assisted Manuel for his second goal of the night, extending the lead to four. And scoring a hat-trick was Manuel, assisted by freshman Eric Hernandez, pushing the Dogs to a 10-1-1 record. They have a bye going into sectionals at West Lafayette. They will play Wednesday, October 5th at 7.30. They will play the winner of Rensselaer Central versus West Lafayette. Now to Emily. Good morning, hot dogs. It's been a while, but I'll be back very soon. The temperature ranged from the upper 30s to the mid 40s this morning. We will have clear skies all day, but later this evening, we will hit a high of 66 degrees from 4 to 5 p.m. During the football game kickoff, we will go to the lower 60s with it being 61. Make sure to take a blanket to the game because the wind is making it chillier tonight. Expect to have a sunny weekend and partly cloudy skies. That's all for weather. Have a great weekend. Now back to Carlos for more. Thanks, Emily. The tennis team ended their season Thursday night playing the Rossville Hornets. Edwin Wayscott put an incredible display of tennis skills and strategy. Edwin challenged his skilled opponent every second of the match, forcing the match into a third set and forcing an extra game match as well. And congratulations to the entire team for a great season. And do you want to get in the best shape of your life? Do you want to go fast in water? Come try out for swimming. FHS Swimming and Dive is having our official call out today after school in room 203. No experience needed. And don't forget that today is your last chance to buy a student pass for only $25 in the athletic department. Lastly, the football team plays today at Danville. Game time's at 7 p.m. That's all for sports. Now back to your host. Now we're going to send it away again, but this time to Nelson for a sports segment on the boys' soccer team. Hey, hot dogs. With the soccer team winning the Sagamore Conference Championship and having an outstanding record of 10-1-1, losing to only the number one ranked team in the state, I caught up with them to see what's next. It feels amazing to win conference because it hasn't been done since 2017, and it gives us a lot of confidence going into sectionals to win. It feels pretty good to win conference. Um, we haven't been able to do that in five years, and also I feel really connected with the people and the boys we have right now, and we just play with really good chemistry. I'm pretty confident we got what it takes to win sectionals, um, but we just got to play with our best ability and play as a team. Me and the team are pretty confident going into sectionals. We just got to play our game and 
just face them again. I mean, it's a team that we already faced, so I feel like as long as we play good, we'll be all right. Most likely, the boys will face West Lafayette at West Lafayette in the second round of sectionals. The game is Wednesday, the 5th. Make sure you come out and support the boys and watch them rematch the Red Devils in a fight for the sectional title. That's all. This is Nelson from HDTV. Dogs, there's only one week left in the quarter. Make sure your grades are in check and if you're running out of time to fix them, but if you need some extra help catching up on your work, getting your grades up, TAG is a good place to do that. A very special happy birthday goes out to Jackson Ray. And for lunch today, lines one and two is taco scoop slash goldfish grams. Line three is salad bar slash California blend soup. And line four, sausage links slash French toast. And that's all for today, dogs. Make sure you like, subscribe, and have a fantastic Friday.